Hey everybody, Shoebox Legends here. If you saw the title of today's video, which you presumably did before clicking on it, you know the drill. We are back with another Com C rummage. This is going to be an abbreviated segment today. Don't have a ton of time, uh, so grab just a dozen cards that I have picked up on Com C over the years, and uh, we'll just get right to it and talk about them. So we're going to start off with a set build need. I am working on the 1959 Topps baseball set and needed this Sporting News Rookie Stars subset card of John Buzzhart of the Chicago Cubs. Love the patriotic theme here coming off the 4th of July. Just a very classic looking vintage baseball card. And that's going to go right into the 59 Tops binder. One card closer to that one. I think I'm about two thirds complete on that set now. So getting there little by little. Uh, here's a hockey card. Of course, the NHL season just wrapped up. And this man, the bread man, Artemi Panarin, with the New York Rangers now, uh, led them quite a ways into the playoffs. This is an early career Opeechee Platinum, and it is the Rainbow, uh, which is like a refractor. And it's also the retro variation. Um, so this is like a second or third year card. Uh, Panarin remains one of the best setup men in the NHL. And just a screaming buy. His stuff is just dirt cheap on uh, Com C and otherwise. So happy to scoop that one up. Uh, next up, we have a minor league card here from a company called Multi Ad Sports. Not really very familiar with this company. Um, this is a card that came out in the 90s, I would say. And uh, the reason I grabbed it, it features the New Britain Rock Cats. You can see in the upper right here. And uh, I grew up in Connecticut, so that is a Connecticut based team. Of course, Connecticut has not had a professional sports franchise since the Whalers left, um, you know, at least at top level in a major North American sport. Uh, but they do have minor league baseball. And so that was kind of a cool one there. I can remember doing a book report on the minor league franchises in the state of Connecticut uh, when I was in like seventh grade and uh, wrote a letter to the New Britain Rockcats and got like a fan pack from them with stickers and schedules and that kind of stuff. Uh, moving on, here's a Topps Chrome Pink Refractor of Joey Votto. Mr. Uh, On-Base Percentage. Seems like this may be his final year. It's been a, a rough year for the Reds so far. Um, kind of uh, seems like people are split on whether this guy's going to make the Hall or not, but he's certainly, at the very least, a member of the Hall of Very Good. He's had a pretty distinguished career, and I love the image on that 2019 Topps Chrome card of him just kneeling outside the dugout. Uh, we'll just stick with uh, the shine for the next couple cards here while we're at it. This one's from Opeachy Platinum. This is the red parallel, red prism. Brad Marchand, the rat. Not a very well-loved player throughout the league, but as a Bruins fan, I enjoy watching him play. Uh, how about a new Xander? So this one's going right into the Xander Bogart C folio from 2017, I think. Top's finest. We'll check in a second. The purple refractor. Number 66 out of 250 of the X-Man. Love it. He's continuing to enjoy a great season with Boston, as is uh, Devers and J.D. Martinez and some of the teammates. Of course, they're chasing the amazing Yankees team in the standings, but uh, not doing too badly at this uh, midway point of the season. Here's a beautiful Dufex card from 1995 Pinnacle featuring Jose Malave. Not a well-remembered player in Red Sox lore, but uh, I just... I am obsessed with Dufex. I love the technology. Pinnacle did it best, and uh, I will try to acquire any Dufex card that I can get my hands on from Pinnacle from the decade of the 90s, and especially a Red Sox card like that one. Happy to have it. Um, some more set build fodder here. This one from the 71-72 Topps hockey release, and check out this sweet Derek Sanderson. Super interesting guy. I've actually been reading a book on the early 70s Boston Bruins uh, Stanley Cup champion teams, and Sanderson was quite a character on those clubs. He would later do a color commentary for the Bruins. Just a super interesting dude, and a card that I needed, sort of a semi-star that I needed for a set build that I am doing of 71-72 Topps Hockey. Love those bubble letters in the design. Just an awesome, awesome set. It's a shiny Red Sox card here from 2017, Topps Chrome. This is a Chris Sale X-Fractor. And uh, good timing for this beautiful card, as it seems like Chris will be returning to the rotation soon, uh, at least based on what I hear. I think he's making minor league rehab starts uh, at the time that I'm recording this. So hopefully we'll see him with Boston soon. And we'll put that one up. That's 
That's some beautiful shine. We'll definitely try to get that one up in the background there. Love it. There's another 59 top set need here. This is a high number from the Sporting News All-Stars towards the very back end of the checklist. Billy Pierce of the Chicago Cubs. This one's a victory for me because at card uh, 572, this is going to fill a spot in the binder, and those high number 59s are pretty tough. So really happy to see this one. And, of course, I love the artwork on the back of these All-Star cards. Just fantastic. I mean, that is gorgeous. The, the back of this card looks every bit as good as the front, and that's uh, something that you don't say too often these days in the hobby. Just two cards left here. We got a shiny hockey card. This is from the first ever Opeachy Platinum set, Pavel Datsuk, future Hall of Famer. And uh, this is the, as I said, the inaugural Opeachy Platinum set from 2014. Still exists to this day, is wildly popular. And I love this parallel in particular from this first set. These are known as blue cubes, and they're numbered out of 65. So kind of a sneaky good Datsuk card there. Uh, I'll never have all those, but I just like with Topps Chrome and baseball, I love the different Opeachy Platinum parallels in the world of hockey, and so happy to add another one there. And then we'll close out the video with a 55 Topps card that is also going towards a set build. Shout out to Lisa Z. We've got Bob Miller of the Detroit Tigers here. Left-handed hurler, so uh, pretty great card there. I don't really know anything about Bob Miller, but as is always the case when I show these, you know, good visual appeal, card that maybe wouldn't grade a, a PSA 8 or anything, but it looks great to me and uh, will fit right in with my budding 1955 top set build. So that's a wrap for today. Uh, this is maybe a, a, an all-time record for like a uh, Com C video like this at uh, under seven minutes. I don't know what my camera was doing there. Sorry for that little camera freak out if you saw that with the focusing, but we'll keep it uh, short and sweet today at seven minutes. Hope you saw something among these dozen cards that interested you. And as is always the case, I'll be back in the very near future with some more sports card content. Until then, enjoy the hobby.